If you don't know me, I'm traveling. I'm currently in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which is one of the biggest cities in the planet, over 11 million people outside. And today we're going to the Rock Gallery, which is basically a mall of rock and roll. Yeah, I'm going outside. The thing is it closed 7 p.m. and now it's 5 p.m. So I have two hours to get there to have fun and to record some fun stuff. By the way, by the way, that's the outfit. Just me in black as usual. Actually, because it's starting to get dark here. So it's better to be in black to, I mean, don't call attention in this dangerous city. Let's go. I hope I find some good things. See, look at this video. I'm not ugly. I mean, I am ugly. But when I find a good lighting, I just turn good. So we're all cute. We just need the right lighting, or the right amount of darkness, because sometimes darks help too. I can't start to explain how this city is wild, I mean, of course there are millions of people here, but also everyone is always running to something, they don't have time to anything, you say good, <laughs> you say good afternoon to anybody, and people just look at you like, what you're talking about? I, 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 I'm busy, don't look at me. I mean, besides all the craziness, all the mess, they are beautiful places in the city i mean you walk and you suddenly see a cute church ruined by graffitis but still a cute church somehow enough talk enough walks we just got here yeah a lot of people a lot of people um i'm excited and also i'm thinking about getting a piercing i won't say where i mean in the mouth if there is a heaven and in this heaven there is a mall it's this place i just didn't know that heaven was so expensive i mean i love i love this place i love this place i can't even say how many tattoo places there are here also all sorts of stores golf style i mean even skateboards too because i mean we rock and roll kids there are like uh, avery loving park that we need skateboards for some reason also, all the stores had did their own style, and I couldn't be more in love with it. And one of the stores that I actually most loved was this store that, I mean, sell a lot of baby goth clothing, all for bands, and it looks so cute. And I wanted to buy everything, but I didn't have the money for it. Also, I found a CD store. I mean, a CD store. I didn't even even know that CD still existed, and there is a chance that I bought a vinyl record. I love this place more than I can love myself. Hey kids, you know when you're desperate for candy and there is like this old creepy guy in a van, and he say, "Hey, come in. There is candy here," and you just follow them. Yeah, we all know how. It those things happen. So, I got two tattoos. Yes. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I tried to resist for 10 seconds, but I couldn't resist. So, but there's going to be a video about it because one of the tattoos, well, it's healing yet, but let's just say that, um, not exactly the way it's supposed to be. And my last stop there was, at least for today, it was in this burger shop. And I need to say something, I'm not really fond of meat. I usually don't like it, especially beef. But let's just say that I got the best burger I've ever had in my entire life. It was so delicious. I, I can't even start to describe how delicious it was. The moment I bought it, I, I, I thought, oh, it, this is overpriced, this is overpriced, but the taste of it, 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 it was heavenly, heaven, I don't know, maybe the sauce, maybe the cheese, just perfect. And that was my day in this rock mall, my grandma would call it a little piece of hell, and for me, it was heaven, I mean, I'm probably going to come here every day every day so let's talk about all the <laughs> things i bought in the gallery of rock gallery so before starting with the things i need to say that 
I was disappointed just by one thing. There were a lot of stores, several tattoo places, and there were several clothing stores. There were clothing stores that were for normal clothes, just black and for bands and a few goth things, but about the goth style that I was looking because I have been looking for clothes like that for a while. Uh, the real goth thing was just for women and there were children close to you. I'm not saying that, oh, clothes has a gender. No, I'm just saying that I don't want to dress up in a dress full of bats. The first thing that I got, it wasn't there, but it was the first thing that I got when I get here and I wanted to show because I think it kind of fits the the, the moment and it is a, a, a mini presto from the Dungeons and Dragons like TV show that I watched growing up and presto was one of my favorites. I wanted to be like him because he could do magic. <gasps> We're looking the same, I, I, I promise I didn't plan. But same person, same person, and he's a disaster like me. Look like, so cute, so cute. Actually, I, I don't have toys. I, I not fond of toys that much, but I don't know, this one's my childhood and cute. I wanted to be him, but the one I wanted to date, it was Eric. I know he was an ass, but. So first thing, small things, I got three keychains, a bit overpriced. So, I got a Chucky, so cute. By the way, when I was a child, I, I remember hiding to watch Chucky and I remember all the kids being scared and I was like, but he's so cute. Could I kill you? Just, I, I love Chucky. So, since I was a little baby, I got one for myself, or uh, for myself, but this one represents the pain that I'm having with my hair. And I got a little Joker, a little me, that's me. Oh, that was me. Let's not talk about it because I cry. So, really cute. Just normal. This one is actually not made of plastic. I don't know what material this is, but it's kind of heavy and probably breakable. And I got a little Jason. I just want to camp so he can murder me. Love you. Going to the next thing. I got one t-shirt because overpriced. It was all overpriced. But it's from one of my favorite songs from the Beatles and I judge lyrics. I don't know if you can read it. So make it better. Take a sad song and make it better. Yes. Lyrics. Oh no, you got another black shirt. People are, already think that I'm, I just wear the same clothes because all of them are black. Not all of them. I have a lot of green and orange too, but mostly and then we get to the, the most expensive thing that i got there but probably the one that hits me hard and remember that vinyl store and i got one of my favorite band of all time i, I don't even have how to play it yet <laughs> um so i got a kansas vinyl record and i'm just so in love with it my man sing for me and yeah, it's my, it's my favorite band. So that's everything that I got there because everything was really expensive. I love that place. I've been there probably four times already because when I have time, I just go there because I just love being there, hanging out there. Also, all the people there had a punk style, but I don't know, everyone had their own style. Everyone was free. A lot of lesbians with the side of the hair shaped. A lot of people with tattoos, colorful hair. I don't know, I didn't feel like a strange there. It was good, so I could look at people and people could look at me and we were, little, we were all like, oh, yeah, whatever. You have a pinky hair and some weird tattoos. And no one cared. It was good. People like me. Actually, I looked too normal. Uh, uh, that's why I, I, I was like, I need more tattoos. I, I, I'm feeling too normal. This guy doesn't, doesn't have a nose. He was so hot. That guy was so hot. I don't know, a young Voldemort. That was this video, I'm sorry.